What is going on and welcome to Take On The World. Did not know that. Wow. You want to be my wife? Oh, this is going to go downhill real quick. No, but the one thing we had talked about was what you had called a receipt in the industry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, which I didn't realize. So, you were talking about a match with uh, Randy Orton. Randy Orton and uh, Mick Foley. Mick Foley. And (laughs) I guess it was supposed to go, Mick or Randy Orton was supposed to DDT, whatever his move was. I don't know what his move was. DDT, I think it was what it was. Was supposed to DDT um, Mick Foley into tax. He brought a big, like, 50 pound sack of tax out. And just covered the whole the whole ring. Well, he reversed it and Mick Foley smashed Randy Orton into the tax. And he goes, dude, his face was priceless. He's like, his face. What the fuck? His face was like his eyes were wide open and he just like couldn't make a sound. He's like, oh. And then ref came over to check on him, and Randy Orton says, The tax were a bad idea. <laughs> And, uh, you know, there was other ones like, I don't think that might have been a, necessarily been a receipt. Maybe. I don't know. No, I, th- I think that was just a, I don't know. Like, it, you don't see that the thing is with a receipt, you don't know it's a receipt unless you're in the locker room. I don't think it was like, I don't, you pissed me off. I'm going to get you back. I think he just kind of maybe like yo I'm, a, I'm an old school wrestler i can change the shit yeah if i want to well, see, reverse it on you you find out it's a receipt later <sighs> on when people are being interviewed but there was one with uh i think it was uh damn it help me out here um the dude with the fucking knife on his on his chest batista not batista um uh <sighs> he went to ufc and got his ass kicked yeah, um, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, Brock Lesnar. <clears throat> I would not fuck with that guy. He would rip my head off. But anyways, um, he got he got kneed in the face by, I forget what the wrestler was, and then he, like, right away, he two-pieced him. And they'll show you slow down. He, like, fucking two-pieced him. And there was that's, another one that's where... That's a receipt. Where he got kneed in the face. Oh, he was, like, neck was through the ropes, and the guy kneed him in the face through the ropes. And he came back and he clotheslined him over the ropes and out of the ring, like, like he was trying to rip him in half. See, and while this conversation is not as organic as it was the first time, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something else that uh, I didn't mention the first time. Uh, wrestlers, while they're in the ring, will signal to other wrestlers that it's a receipt. Do you remember <clears throat> the old cash registers, the old timey ones? Click, 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 ching. Yeah. So uh, I've seen wrestlers do that in the ring. Where they get stiffed and they'll just go cha 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 ching, boom. Hmm. But it totally makes sense. Like if you pissed me, you you if you fucking did a cheap shot of me, I'm gonna get your ass back. Right, one for one. Yeah, you don't go overboard. It's one for one. So that whole well, I know we bust your balls about wrestling being fake, but <laughs> it's what do you call? What do you call it? It's entertainment. It's entertainment. It's not fake. A cartoon is fake. There's nothing real about a cartoon. It's it's you know the 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 storylines go where you're gonna make money and and you know you want to bring fans back. You need to entertain yes. them. You need to make them hate you or love you. And I'm not necessarily gonna when I drop a leg on you like try and kill you. No, because that's not good either. But if I want to kick you in the face, I can totally kick you in the face. Like yeah. who is it the who who kicked um it was it Triple H kicked um oh my god who who's the Montreal screw job guy? Bret Hart. He got kicked in the face. Whoever kicked him in the face, I think I I, I I forget who the guy was, but he goes, he kicked me in the face so hard, he like broke his eye socket, his nose. And like you really couldn't tell by the thing, but it's like, dude, it was like he was trying to take him out. Like they didn't want him there. Um, I last night I got together with the guy who trained me in the wrestling business, and uh, a couple of people involved in the wrestling business. Uh, Love bug. I always take Nathan along because Nathan loves hearing his stories. 
even if even though he's heard most of them like a hundred times. And uh, one of the stories Lovebug was telling was we were wrestling a, a tag team, triple threat, and uh, oh, I remember what you said before. You like fuck him. I'll name him. His name yeah. was Triple Threat. Well, no, I will fucking name him. his name. Self employed or self employed. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the tag team. And fuck you guys still because you're pussies. But uh, so one of them stiffed Lovebug really bad, like punched him full in the back of the neck, like dangerous bad. And I just barreled over the ropes, and it just looked like I was coming to save my partner. So everybody thought it was shtick, but I fucking let him know that he was not appreciated. <laughs> I let all 400 pounds of me know that he was not welcome. I said, you, sir, are invited <laughs> to ingest a satchel of Richards. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and then they, they, they were afraid to come back in the locker room. So, uh, couldn't even save face, like come back and be like, dude, I'm sorry. The one dude back in the locker room, he's like, You see that? You see how he hit Lubba? That bullshit, that bullshit. We can't, he can't have that shit out there. <laughs> he goes, Marshall, you did the right thing. You did the right thing. You did the right thing. <laughs> so, so they tried to sneak in the back door. He goes, They try to sneak in the back. They try to come right in the back door. <laughs> so he let him in and then stood there, wouldn't let him back out. And we had a, a nice little conversation about. Respect mm. and not uh, overdoing I'm sure, it. I'm sure there was no loud words ex- exchanged. Probably none. Probably none. 